Steve Minani here for Astro Auctioneers Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event. This is item number 244, 1962 Plymouth Fury. Now keep in mind, 62 is the first year for Plymouth's mid-sized B-body platform. And this one is a two-door hardtop, again, a Fury, one year only design. This fender is in fantastic condition. The magnet sticks down low and it sticks up high and you just don't find these 62 Mopar fenders without a bunch of rust. Well, not this one. Uh, the front bumper is very nice. The grill is exceptional on this one. You can see here the, uh, the concave grill, no sign of trouble at all. The headlight rings are even excellent. Wow, a bumper is mint. And again, inside under the hood, we do see this is somebody's old drag car. Had a pin on hood at one point in time. Fender wall headers, these tin panels here cover where the headers used to go out. So there's probably a big block of some kind, maybe a max wedge, who knows? Uh, motor plate used to go to these two uh, flanges here. Manual steering, manual master cylinder, and even a line lock right here. That device is a solenoid for a line lock to uh, hold it on the line. So it probably had a manual transmission at some point in time. Now this is not a max wedge car. We know that because the brake line doesn't have a curve to it. And also here on this inner fender, we don't see the wire tab, um, the, the wire harness clip holes. So this is not a max wedge. We can rule that out, which is good. I'd hate to see a max wedge in a junkyard or in a salvage condition like this. Uh, anyway, hooker headers, Again, somebody's old drag car. The front balance is gone, but the fender itself is in fantastic condition. There is no rust on this thing, and that is just something you don't see on 62 Plymouth fenders. Little dent right there, no big deal. You can hammer that back out. Down low, the, the magnet sticks. There is no rust down here. This is a fantastic rust-free fender, as is the other one. The doors also look fantastic. There is no rust on these. The magnet sticks throughout. Uh, the rocker panel below the door is also very nice. A uh, little bit of a bubble issue is going on right here. Again, we can't ask for perfection, but down low, not too bad. Let's take a peek inside. Let's trade places with the Mr. Cameraman. And inside, the floor looks very nice. Uh, this does have a clutch pedal, so it's possible it was once a manual transmission. The transmission tunnel's also been cut, but on the left-hand side of the steering wheel is also a button pod, so who knows what's been going on here. It's, again, a former drag car. Uh, the dashboard has those four gauges and a radio cover plate right there, so again, probably temperature, ammeter, oil pressure, et cetera, et cetera. Floor looks good in this thing, really. A uh, little slice down here, not sure what that is. It's more of a cut, maybe a trailering issue at some point. It got sliced, who knows? But again, a pretty nice floor. Quarter panels have been radiused on this one. We can see where somebody did some work. It's coming apart, and this would have been, you know, some big slicks at some point in time. But again, pretty decent body on this thing. Uh, the rear axle is worthy of note. Uh, this would have a two-piece axle with a nut and all that stuff here, but this is a more modern 65 up, one piece, eight and three quarter. That's a good thing. Again, uh, better for, for drag racing, easier to get the shafts out to change ratios at the track. Rear quarter panels, fantastic condition. The magnet sticks. There's no rust at all. I can feel down all the way down. There's nothing, no holes, no crust. This is a fantastic quarter panel. Let's go down to the back. And again, the rear bumper is in wonderful shape. This is a Fury, of course, so it has four tail lamps. Direct connection plate here from uh, probably the late 70s. And in the trunk, nice little surprise, this is a cable operated uh, big block torque flight with a ball and trunnion. So that's like a 62, 63, 64, 727 torque flight. But again, that's a push button style transmission with the cable operated um, valve body. Down here again, nice clean quarter panel with no rust. And like the other side, yes, we do have the radius wheel well with the bodywork delaminating. And again, that's the problem with plastic body filler. Eventually, it lifts and comes away. But with that said, this is item number 244, a 1962 Plymouth Fury two-door hardtop former drag car with really solid bones. This deserves to be revived. You can make it happen.